Well, good morning, everybody. We have got a little tournament going on today, and we actually have a lot of people down here. I'm actually boat number 21. Um, I think we're gonna actually have around 30 boats, so pretty good turnout. And uh, we're gonna be catching some spotted bass today. Hopefully some largemouth too, but probably mostly spotted bass. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna do a three fish limit tournament. I think the rules are two fish over 14 inches and one can be any size, but we're going for three over 14 inches. There's no way you can win with one that's under 14. So waiting for everybody to finish putting their boats in, then we're gonna get blasted off. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna see what we can do today. I don't know, we'll see. I'll definitely have three little spotted bass. <laughs> Good luck. Well, my number one spot had somebody on it, but my number two spot is clear. I was here practicing a couple of days ago and uh, caught a nice one over here, almost three pounds on a top water. I'm hoping to do the same thing today. I wanted to start in this little backwater area, which is usually got pretty good largemouth in it, but there was already three boats going back there and it's not big enough for three boats. So I just came on up here to this other spot and I'm gonna try it out I'm throwing a top water frog all I need is just one bite on this thing that's really what we're looking for today three fish tournament I mean ideally you want to have three big ones but at this lake there's not a ton of big fish um, most of the three fish tournaments are one with eight pounds sometimes six pounds so Really what you need is you need like a good two and a half, three pounder. And then if you can get a couple two pounders to go with it, you're golden. Usually, usually you get paid if that happens, but we'll see. You can catch an occasional four out here, but it just really always depends. I got a couple other topwater baits tied on. I've got a sexy dog junior tied on just a bone color and then I've got a uh, popper tied on. We got a couple fish out here sitting deep, but I don't really want to fish them. There's definitely one sitting on the stretch that's three pounds or better. I just gotta get them to eat. But I know there's definitely one. I don't know what that was, but it was not a bass. That was not supposed to happen. I just missed it. Come on, please work. Please work. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't, but we're gonna try it and see. I want to miss the frog, probably not super big. So, take a wacky rig and throw it up in there. Sometimes they'll eat it. Sometimes they won't, but it's always worth a try. It's always worth a try. I'd say it works about 50-50 most of the time. If that was a big fish, it would have ate it all the way, but...
bunch of grass down here too which looks really good for this frog. I had a big one come out of some grass and chase it the other day. I pulled it away from him because I was practicing. It's like a four or five pounder. But I don't know if this grass has enough water on it or not, but it looks pretty good, so we'll try it. I was really hoping to get one out of these trees, though. I know there's some fish in them. It's just getting them to bite. Might prove to be a little bit difficult. Oh, dude. He totally just missed it. That was a pretty nice fish. He's under it right now. It's a large mouth. I can see him. Come on, eat it, buddy. Watch to meet it. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. It's a nice large mouth. It's kind of rare out here. Okay. You're not ready yet. That was beautiful. I could not have done that any better. There we go. Nice fish for this lake, man. Oh, gosh. I said it earlier. I was talking about the wacky rig. Talking about how sometimes they'll miss that frog. But if you throw in there with a wacky rig, they'll eat it. That's exactly what just happened. Now, granted, I could see him still on top of the water but that couldn't have happened any better i mean that was literally beautiful it's exactly how you want it to happen yes sir not a giant by any means but definitely a good fish he's over a pound and a half which is doing something out here got him on the green pumpkin ocho that was awesome couldn't have worked out any better. I'm telling you right now, couldn't have worked out any better. Need two more, and they need to be bigger than that. But if we can get two more bigger than that, it's not a bad bag. All right, let's make a little move. We're gonna see if we can find another little cove. Kind of similar to this on this side of the lake. That way it's protected from the sun. I'm going to try to do the same thing that I did with that large mouth. Alright, so I've got a little point over here that I was wanting to check today. And there's some guys on this other spot that I was going to go to. So I decided I'd come over here to this little cut next to where that point is. You can see sun's coming up right there. So everything on this side of the lake is gonna still be shaded. There's a bunch of laydowns down here in this bottom. I've never even fished these coves before, but I could see that there was some laydowns in here. I know this point up here is deep and we're in 12 foot. So this is looking like it could be a pretty decent little area. I could definitely start running some points and brush piles and stuff like that and catch fish right now, but I'm really trying to get on some bigger fish this morning on a top water like i'm i'm really wanting to get one over three pounds first thing this morning i think that's going to be really crucial for doing good today this down in here looks even better than that other spot we were just at I'm 
gonna check this point first and then I'm gonna check that other one I originally came here for. But this one right here, it gets fished a lot more than that other one does. And since it's free right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull on up. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was a big one. He missed it. Totally missed it. That was a dang big one. I mean, that was a dang giant bite. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. That one right there, it's gonna be a loss. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna finish out this pocket with this frog. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and make a run up the lake and fish a brush pile that I think has some pretty good fish on it. And fish a hump, probably a couple points, stuff like that. Just kind of pull up on them to the structure if I don't get bit go ahead and leave not kind of hang around on them too long but that way I can just go ahead and have three fish it'll make me feel a lot better then if I've got a pretty decent bag just from doing that then I'll probably just end up going in some dirtier water and throwing this the rest of the day but we're gonna make us a run it's almost eight o'clock I gotta get some more fish in the boat that one I've got is good but I need some weight all right, let's catch us a spotted bass. And hopefully a big one. Caught a pretty good one here the other day. I mean, it wasn't a giant by any means, but I'm gonna throw the shaky head a little bit, throw the drop shot. Might throw the Ned rig a little bit too, but mostly shaky head and a drop shot for the most part. I got a big one. Please stay on there. Yeah, I got a nice one. I think it's a big spot. Oh man. Please stay on there. Thought I was hung for a second. It was fighting so hard. Come on, baby. Stay on there. Stay on there. It's got to be a big spot. I'm hoping it's like a two or a three pounder. Come on, baby. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Oh no, it's a largemouth. Look, I done caught me another dang largemouth. What in the world? Sucker choked it too, son. Oh my goodness. That ain't good. I can get that out. That's another largemouth. That ain't a bad fish. I mean, he, ain't, he ain't huge, but he ain't a bad fish. He ain't a bad little fish. Like I said, not a giant, but he'll help the calls. I was hoping it would be a real big spot. That's what I was hoping. But I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. That's two. That's two. 
need one more and we need it to be a five pounder. Eat it. He's playing with it. Dink. Just nibbling it. They gotta be really small spotted bass. There we go. It's not a giant, but that's our third keeper right there. Heck, he's probably 14 inches, probably. That would be a spotted bass right there. Yeah, he's over 14 too. This one right here is definitely gonna be our next call though. 100%. He is a lot smaller than the large mouths. We got three though. Now we just got a coal. On the money. Another one bites the dust. Another not big one. Quick release. Probably about to move spots here in a minute. If that's all I'm gonna catch right here, I am not staying. That's for sure. All right, let's see what, what the deal is out here. We're in some deeper water now. Out of all of them, you're gonna bite for real. At least you ate it good. It's the only compliment I have for you, sir. They're just not really out here yet. They ain't on it good, that's for sure, bruh. Need a big bass. Come on now. We're officially halfway through the tournament. Officially. And we've got a solid five pounds. Sometimes six wins out here. I probably got five. I don't know, that might be pushing it. Ooh, yeah. Eat it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes.
That looked like a pretty good one. Yep, it is. Please be a call. I think it's a good spot. I'm glad I came here. I was debating not coming to this spot. And I decided I better come check it. Yeah. Oh, it's like a three pound spot, I think. Or it might be a big largemouth, but it's a big fish. Big fish. Definitely biggest one of the day. Stay on there, girl. Don't come jump. Nope, it's a big spot. Nope, it's a big largemouth. I lied. Big largemouth. Yes, baby, let's go. Let's go. Those are the ones you need out here, son. Let's go. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Nice fish out here, man. Oh, that's awesome. Man, that's awesome. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Heck no, don't do that, bro. I ain't got too bad of a bag. I've got all largemouth. This is the only time on this lake where I've ever had all largemouth. Ever. Like, I'm so serious. This is the only time I've ever had a limit of all largemouth. It's crazy. Put a little bit of G juice in there for them. This stuff right here will save some fish. Well worth the investment. Whew, we can keep that momentum going. We might win this thing, boys and girls. I ain't kidding. It's still early in the day, too. Fishing good today. If I would have caught that one that blew up on my frog, it would be game over for all these other people. But we didn't catch one on the frog, which means we still got to catch one as big as she was. That's awesome. It's a better fish. That's a better fish. I mean, this feels like it could be bigger than the last one. The last big largemouth I caught. I'm not kidding. This is a nice fish. I think it's another largemouth. It is not fighting like a spot. I hope it's not a catfish. Dang it, it's a dang catfish. You son of a gun. I knew it. I called it. Quit getting me wet, stupid. Son of a gun. Got snagged with a darn shaky head. I guess he tried to eat it, but he's hooked outside of the mouth. Catfish. Mm-mm-mm. I just got catfished. Oh, man. I thought I just won me the dang tournament. All right, well, I'm not staying up here for too much longer. I'm gonna fish this all the way down. And then after that, we're gonna move. I've just, I've been looking for similar structure, like I caught that big one off of, but I've yet to find any similar structure just like that. So I've just been kind of fishing the rocks and not having too much luck. If it's a bass, it's a big one. I think I might have got another dang catfish. Nope, it's a bass. Oh, dude, it's a nice spot. It's a nice spot. It's a nice spot. Oh my gosh. Please stay on there. Please stay on there. Get out of those rocks. Oh my gosh, he's got a giant with him too. He's got a giant with him too. Don't do, don't you do that. Don't you do that jumping. Don't you do that. Oh, dude, the one with them is even bigger. What in the world? Oh my gosh, there's like a five pounder underneath them. I'm not even kidding. Yes, baby, let's go. 
Let's freaking go. Let's go. Yes, dude. That is a good spot. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord. Dude, the ones with them were even bigger. I'm not even kidding. The ones with them were even bigger. I gotta call this fish out, but I'm pulling off this bank. I could see like five pounders underneath them. I'm not even kidding. It was ridiculous. Oh man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I needed that one. I needed that one bad. Now we gotta do us a little bit of culling. I believe this one right here is gonna be smaller. Yep. This one right here is the big one. Okay, so let's put a call tag on you. You're the big one. Okay. Back in there. Great spot. That one's over two and a half. This one right here is our small one, so there we go. Might not be leaving yet. Might be staying up here a little bit longer. Dude, that fish was going berserk. Dude, he was going crazy. I cannot believe the size of those other fish with that one. I'm telling you, they were like huge. They were so much bigger than him, especially the one down on the bottom. He was a giant. We have a chance at this, folks. We have a chance. One more like that, and I'm gonna be feeling awesome. We're gonna go down here and check this spot one more time where I caught that big largemouth just to check it while I'm up here. And then after that, we're gonna make a pretty good run. Fish a couple other spots. Hopefully there's not a lot of people on them, but I wanna get that last fish out. If I can get that one last largemouth out, we're gonna be good. I caught the one fish that was sitting on it. But hey, at least it was one good one. That's all I can say. At least it was one good one. Let's get one out of here. All right, I'm back on the starting spot. I've got one other place that I really want to hit. Um, it's probably got people on it. So I think that there's a pretty good possibility we catch something in here. I don't know if it'll color or not, but I really want to try to get that one large mouth out. Right now, I don't have a bad bag at all. I mean, I'm I'm happy with what I've got, but I really would like to call that one out. Probably got like seven, seven and a half, I think. But we'll see. I still have yet to go to the spot that I was talking about going to, but I wanted to stop here and check this. Looks like that bank over there is shaded too, so it may be a good idea to throw the frog on it a little bit, see if we can get us a last minute bigging. getting to be a madhouse out here all these pleasure boaters that's why they run these tournaments till 11 because they don't want to have to deal with all the ski boats and jet skis and everybody else good fish I just don't know how good oh no dude 
He literally came off. That was a good largemouth. Dang it. I don't know if he would have called or not, but that was a good fish. Dang it. That might have called. That's another good fish, but I just don't know how good. No, he ain't that good. It's just a spot. Ugh. That one I hooked over there was not a spot. It was a largey. And it was a large largey. got 13 minutes I'm like super close to the ramp so just about all that's gonna be fishing time all right that's it Fish number one, smallest one right here. Beautiful little large male. Fish number two, bigger large mouth. Nice fish. Really appreciated it when he bit. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Think you got I got one over five and a quarter. Nope. All right, Adam White. Did it? Yep. I can't help. He's in my. I saw you this morning. He's right where I wanted to start. <laughs> <laughs> Probably didn't catch none right there, though, did you? Oh, I did. Oh, did you? Bag. That's some pretty fish. If I would have had some of the ones I lost, I'd really have a bag. Yeah, you got a good bag. Yeah, you're in the first. 803. Yep. Yeah, get a picture of that bag. Get it on video, any of Oh, yeah, I'll love it. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to put it on my website. All right. Make sure you send me a link. I'm going to grab that one with this hand right here. All right. Yeah, good bag. Okay. Where's that put me at? First place. First right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get the release of these things. I'm leading right now. I hope it holds up. We'll see. There's our spot. Largy. And another largy. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Third place, Keith Toller, where you at? Keith and Roger, right? 150 bucks. All right, Corden and Blaine, second place, 275 bucks. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Two four-pounders right. underneath Adam the one I caught. First call. place, oh, where you at? There he is. I'm shaking 
What happened to three small spots? Seven hundred seventy-five dollars. Thank you. Hey, figure up the smallest limit. I got a smallest limit prize too. I got to figure up. Thank you. Yep. Good thank y'all. And then James. Thank you. You wait in the five and a quarter, right? Yeah. James, you got two big fish too. All right. Good job, guys. Big fish paid out three hundred today. I just yeah, want to say, yeah, thanks for brother. putting it on again. Yeah, yeah, man. Make sure you, you come yes, out. That's a, that's a point yeah, I'm going to come as much as I can. All right, sounds good. See y'all. All right, that'll work. Thank you. I guess today it was my time because we got the win, baby. We got first place in the first LBC tournament of the year. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, be sure to go ahead and check out some of my other tournament videos. I'll pop one up right here. Also have some linked in the description down below. And we're going to fish some more of these tournaments. I've got other tournaments coming up too. Got some BFLs and I'm going to fish as many of these as I can. I love fishing with this group of guys. I love fishing this lake. It's a lot different than everywhere else that I fish. And uh, I really like it a lot. So we're coming back. We're going to see if we can seal the deal again. I had to fish solo today, but hopefully my partner will be with me the next couple times that I get to go. And uh, I'll take you guys along with me for the ride. Thank you for watching.